Hello everybody, it's just me again. This is just a video to hopefully help some people fix a few issues that Saints Row 2 might be having. As you can see, there's a video here showing two two videos by, um, side by side, showing how it's broken. As you can see, the fixed version, the characters are still on screen, but when you play with it unfixed, basically you end up having the glitchy FMVs, tons of crashes to desktop. So. Hopefully this video is going to show you how to fix both the cutscenes and also fix some on-screen prompts so you can actually see the right things to press rather than the uh, shift or spacebar like you see here. Also at the end of the video I'll just leave the uh, comparisons what you see now on screen in its full run for a few minutes so you, if you want to check it out it's at the end but after, after the video if, you, if it's fixed it just uh, you can close, close and carry on and play the game. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is install the Gentleman of Saints Row patch. The link is in the description to download. What you want to do is you want to click on the patch file right there. And we'll click this. And then when this is here, we'll basically have the, the on screen what you need to do. So press any button to continue. And any second now, should be doing it. And as you can see, it's already got the one that I've selected, but I'll show you to do press one, because all I want to do is install the gamepad myself, and then the patches, and then I'm using the Xbox 360 pad, so press one again, and then press enter, and it will ask to uh, press, I'll press yes, and then press, it would have the tab next to it right there, as you can see it's got a little I, so press zero, and enter, and now it should have a plus next to the one, so that's fine, and then to install the patch you're going to press P and then press enter, let it do what it needs to do. And done, press any P to continue, brilliant. And then in the top there, there should be the patches themselves, there's three, three files there. And what we need to do now is basically just drag and drop them, or copy and paste them into the Saints Row 2 folder like so so that should sort out a fair few issues but it's not going to sort out the frame rate the cutscenes we need to limit the frames to 30 to stop the cutscenes from being all glitchy and more importantly it's stopped the consistent crashes to desktop um, my settings here as you can see I'm putting on anti-aliasing because I don't put it on during the, in the actual game I think it looks a bit better doing it like this but you can put it on in the game and the main thing I, that you want to do here is go to um, limit frame rate to 30. I put it as 31 and then I put a um, vertical sync on and then, that, then the vertical sync drops it down to 30 and keeps it there. So uh, no, in the description I'll paste what settings I've actually changed if you want to actually copy what I'm doing here. And this is done in NVIDIA. Um, NVIDIA control panel managing 3D settings but if you haven't got NVIDIA control panel you can use Reva tuner to limit the frames to 30 doing it that way so once this is all done as, as I want it I put it vertical sync as adaptive uh, half refresh rate but you can just put it either on or adaptive or just uh, put it on in the game and press make sure to press apply at the bottom there that should do um, custom resolution as well and if your resolution isn't supported in the game you might want to download the custom resolution uh, fixer and it's very easy to use you extract that thing from the um, extract it from the file and then just double click it it's very easy you just put your resolution that you want to use in there and as you can see mine's in there so once you've done that you just put in what you want and press save there we go, save. Uh, okay, what's next? Now, I'll be honest, for me, that pretty much done everything I needed. In fact, just, just limiting the frame rate and installing the patch has made it so the game now runs and I haven't had one single crash. But you might want to uh, install DirectX, which is in the Saints Row folder. And you just, I don't know, just double click that 
and I install that. But what I, we have to remember is to, if you do install DirectX, make sure that you install the patches afterwards, so drag and drop the free files that you saw me at the start. Do it after doing this, because this might put in new files that, that, that basically wipe out the patch. You can see here it should be installing now. Ready, install. And that, that's, that's one thing you can do, just make sure you remember to drop and drag the patches in afterwards. Now if you're still having a few issues, what you can do is verify the game, which will take, again take the patches out, so if you do that you then need to reinstall the Gentleman of Saints Row patch as I showed you at the start. Very easy to find where your folders are, just go to Steam, um, go to Steam to so verify the integrity of the game. And the other thing to do is change the compatibility mode to either Vista or XP, that's what I choose anyway because that's the soft that's the operating software that was available when the game was released so for me i always try and make a ported pc game try and act as close to what it was doing on the console if it can do what i did on the xbox 360 i'm happy with it i don't need to have my games running at you know 200 200 frames a second just as long as it does what it did back when it was released and i believe that this video should help do that as you can see to change the compatibility mode just right click on the sp2 file and then change it to either vista or xp and make sure to press ok and that should be it as i say for me just installing the gentleman of saints row patch and limiting the frames made the game consistently run i haven't had it crash once not once And here's just a quick look at what options, settings I'm using. Ignore the resolution because that's been fixed by the resolution fix. But yeah, if you want to copy what settings I'm using there. And that should do it. Anyway, I'm going to let, leave the video running now with the comparisons. Take it easy. You'll never guess who's awake. You're shitting me. Come see for yourself. How long has it been? Years. I stopped keeping track a while ago. I can't believe it's been that long. Time flies when you're watching someone breathe through a tube. How's the family? My wife's cheating on me with an old Torg sack, and uh, my daughter sits in her room listening to Aisha albums all day. Oh, for a dead woman, she sure releases a lot of records. <laughs> no shit. God, that was a hell of a year. Alderman Hughes, Mayor Winslow, Aisha, Chief Monroe. All murdered by that asshole who's been sitting in intensive care on taxpayers' money. He said he wouldn't pull the plug. Lord knows why. Anyone call the chief? Couldn't get through. The press has been mobbing him with phone calls. Oh, about the... Yep. I forgot that was today. You should pay more attention. Fuck off. How's the patient? Seeing as they're still breathing after being caught in a massive explosion, I'd say pretty good. Coming through! What happened? Shanking. Put him over there. Sorry about that. Have they said anything yet? Not yet. But I'm about to take the bandages off. Yes. That looks like it healed nicely. Be careful, doctor. Your patient's dangerous. You got anything you want to say yes. to the judge, you better start that thinking like of it now. Nicely. You're wasting your time. Be Let's careful, get doctor. You think you could kill me? We can either try to sneak up the Quit wasting my time, bitch! We can either try to sneak out through the roof or charge out the front. You're caught. Let's get to the docks. I can drive us out of here. Let's get to the docks. I'm breaking out of jail with you. Yeah, it's a dream come true. Now let's move. Yeah, it's a dream come true. Now let's move. <laughs> Remember my brother? 
Tough, tough guy. guy wore, I wore purple. Oh, purple. Sure, sure. Let's not get shot first, then I'll worry about it. Pull this off. Glad you have so much faith in your plan. Oh, you I'd get you out of here. this off. Out yet. Glad you have so much faith in your plan. Oh, you I'd get you out of here. We're not out yet. 